Hello, Hugo! And you, Popcorn! Hello, mate! <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Today, we're going to actually go to Sutton Pets and Exotics here in St. Helens, Merseyside, and we're going to check out my new dream species. The deposits have been paid. It's in motion. If you've been around here for some time, you will actually know that we've been looking for one of our dream species for quite a while, trying to figure out which one would suit our reptile collection and all this sort of stuff right now. I'm in the position now to go one of my dream species, and we've got one. So, what am I gonna get? Now it is gonna be quite some time until we do actually pick up this animal, maybe a month or so. Oh, Charlie! We're gonna get you some food while we're down at certain Pets and Exotics as well. Not you though, girl. Not you. Maybe you though. How's it going, Mushu? But yes, it is gonna be a little bit of time before we do actually get this animal back here. Solely because we need an enclosure build, and you know us on Northern Exotics. You've seen all of the big enclosure builds that we have done, like this. Lassiodora's Paraballus Tarantula enclosure. She's really settling in now. I mean, just look at that. Just look at that. So you can sort of guess we are going to be building an amazing enclosure for it. But there's a few things that need to be moved around, which I can't physically do on my own because I'm not that strong. You see the two four-foot enclosures just there? Well, you don't because that's in the way. But you've got Diego down there and Rosie just there. Or maybe Millie's uh, big bioactive leopard gecko enclosure. Maybe that's going to go in between them. You know, so we've got sort of Diego down there, then Millie, then Rosie on top. Rosie's not going to be in that enclosure forever because she's getting to the size now where she could do with being in a slightly bigger enclosure. I don't know. Maybe this one when um, Hugo moves out into his big enclosure. What's up, mate? You look bored out of your school. What's up? What's up? Should we let you out for a play, mate? Should we let you out for a play? Come on, then. While his door's actually open, we have to actually close this main door here. Solely because one time we let him out through that door to the actual kitchen. He went in there and decided he'd have a midnight snack and he ate a kebab that was in the bin in the floor that was left over. But check this. If you saw a recent video, popcorn here, it's a guinea pig. You should have seen the size of what actually come out of that animal. But check this out. This is the shed that's just come off her last night. Yes, the shed, <laughs> believe it or not, is seven foot two inches. Now, we all know the shed doesn't determine the actual size or the actual length of the actual snake, solely because the shed goes in every single scale. So when it's all stretched out, it's obviously it's going to be a little bit bigger. But you've got some new skin, haven't you, mate? We actually do enjoy keeping all of uh, Popcorn's and Rosie's sheds, just solely because we want to try and find something like a craft YouTuber, someone that could actually make crafty stuff out of the snake shed so if you know anybody link them in the description <laughs> link them in the comments and uh, i'll hit them up are you coming out yet buddy come on mate you can do it this is so funny watching him do it. he just sort of flops out well there we go you coming out for a bit of a cha challenge come on mate <laughs> there he is have fun hugo while he's playing around, we've noticed Mushu has started to shed on the back of his skin. So what does that mean? Humidity! We need to get some humidity. Oh, put that down there. Oh, morning geckos. We need to up the humidity in there without him actually escaping. So we sort of just open it that little bit. And we're going to pack this enclosure with humidity. And just give it a really good humidity spike. It's a natural thing for them to actually have a humidity spike in the wild. So every now and then we like to really do bump the humidity up. I mean, it gets sprayed down all the time anyway. But to have that extra humidity, that one big spike once a month or so, just helps their enrichment, really. Oof, there he is on the hot spot, looking like a grumpy old man. You ever seen Jeff Dunham, where he's got the ventriloquist dolls and he's got Walter and Ahmed, the dead terrorist? There's Walter, in a nutshell. I love this enclosure. Let's see if we can... <clears throat> Look at that, all that... Pothos plants at the back. I keep getting told off because it's not actually a pothos, but uh, it is what it is. I love the way it's trailing all the way down by this water bowl, all the way up those logs now. It's absolutely amazing. And he absolutely loves it. Do you know what? Let's have a humidity spike through Rosie as well. She can be a cow. She's down there. So uh, let's open there, get the water, and just uh, give it a bit of a spray in there on the hot side and just let it humidity cycle around that enclosure. I can hear some footsteps. I can hear some footsteps. Oh. 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 I can hear him. Where is he? Where's Hugo? Boof! Hugo! You going in there for, mate? What's up, buddy? Hello. Oh, ho, ho. I'm not food. <laughs> I think he knows that the food 
He's just there. He's got Doobie and Roaches and Mealworms and Superworms just there. So he's a bit angry. He wants food. Going to have a humidity spike in here for the Lassiodorus paraballus. This enclosure is doing great. She's just shot in the hide down there. You can see her burrow. She's right down the bottom just there. Give the plant a good soaking. Now the plant does get a go in every sort of three days or so. But we also like to just do one whole side of the enclosure quite heavily. Just to sort of add that humidity through that enclosure. Humidity cycle. So if she wants a bit more humidity, she can come over this side. If she doesn't, she can go in our hide down there. We'll also fill up the water bowl while we're just here anyway. Oh, I've, just had a, <laughs> I've just had a text off Scott from Scott's Inverse. What's your address? I always get scared when that happens. Because it means something's getting sent to my address. Maybe it could be something to go into this enclosure just here. Or that one just up there. Or maybe even the Invert Communal just up there. Or it could be one of those sniffer panty sort of fake joke things ah subscribe if you want to see what scott's invert's going to send me let's do the morning geckos is there any morning geckos yes there's one just there you can see the dark patch let's see if we can get a focus on it Boof, there he is absolutely amazing now normally there's one up here as well sticking a tail down but not today but we've got the uh rep the swell reptile misting system whoosh it's a bit noisy though but it does the job really really well i absolutely love this enclosure Oh, yes. Just, oh. We'll give them a fog fog as well. There's the fog system turned on. You see it coming down the back in a second. Oh, there it comes. There it comes. Ha, we'll leave that to fog up. Hello, Missy! Hello! The food's all the way up here and over there and over there. But you're not going to get it, are you, mate? Actually, while you're messing around down there, I'm going to get this box and I'm going to show everybody what I spend all of your money on. Because what's in this box is basically what I bought from my affiliate marketing um, commission so if I've got a load of links in the description down below and they're basically affiliate links to like Amazon this one is specifically for Amazon we've got swell reptile ones there and what that is is I get commission every time you click on one of those links I then get commission from whatever you buy it doesn't cost you guys absolutely anything it just means Amazon have to give me a bit of money for sending the people there and this is what I actually got from Amazon this month I picked up uh, 30 pound and 13 pence Commission from Amazon. So um, what did I buy? This is gonna shock you. Oh. I'm trying my hardest to not show any sort of One two three four five six and a couple of more of the tubes. This is marine grade silicon. So every piece of penny that I actually do earn from YouTube just goes straight back into YouTube. This is all gonna get basically used on one, that big build just there, big build just back there, and you've all seen, well, I've already told you, I've got a dream animal coming, so I've got a build coming for that. So this is just gonna to go towards my collection of marine grade silicon because I'm gonna need an absolute ton for that enclosure just there. Obviously, it's laying down on its side right now solely because I've been plastering that bottom piece. But I need to figure out what I want to do with the side panels. I was just going to paint it, but then the paint didn't really work. So I don't know whether to cover it in a rock face or oh, I don't know what to do with it. But it is coming together really well. That's that chameleon build, <laughs> which to be fair, I can't actually wait to get that done. A bit of inside information for you. I've been editing that video as I've been going. So every time I've done a little piece of work, I've added a bit of edit. I've got about nine hours worth of edit into it already, and I accidentally deleted it. So I've had to start it all over again and go through that, and oh, it's been a pain. But it's the biggest bioactive build I've ever done, and it's, t it's such a challenge. Hence why I do need the marine grade silicon. I've got some more over there as well. I'm gonna need a lot of it. I've done a lot of plaster, which again, is just in that box just there. We are really working hard, Hugo, what are you doing? He's behind the plant rack, behind, there he is, he's behind the substrate that we have got for our plants just there. By the way, look at the plants that we do have. These are all plants that are going to go into that new bioactive enclosure. Wah! These are all just weeping dews. We've got that one just there, a few spiders. I do want to get a few pothos plants, basically those ones just there, which you can't really see because we're fogging up that enclosure. Where are you going to now, mate? See ya. Bye! Obviously, we've got a few more plants just there. We've got the windowsill just there. It's full of plants. We've got uh, a few more just over there. And we've got loads. That big uh, cheese plant just there. That was initially brought to go inside the new big bioactive chameleon build. However, I think it's a bit big. And plus, I like it there. And I've got attached to it. And I'm like, oh, no. What else do I put in there now? But while Hugo is actually out of his enclosure. Oh, well, I see he's out of his enclosure. I was listening for him then. But... Uh, 
is sort of finding his way back to his enclosure now. We're actually going to mist his enclosure down and give him a bit of a humidity spike. You're not going to bite me toes, are you, mate? Look at the mess. You're not going to bite me toes, are you? Let's get the water bowl out. And the way we actually do this, we just leave that, just sat there like that, and we'll lock the spray down and just let the spray do its thing while we clean the water bowl out. Water bowl, back in. What are you doing causing all this destruction? I'll tell you what, we'll feed you. Now I absolutely love that sort of in that hunting instinct. He had to physically go out looking for food, and that's all he did. This is the uh, the Reptile Systems Calcium Ultra, the best calcium that I've found so far. He's just got some superworms and the tongs. Let's go and give him a feed. He's back behind them as well. You watch him go absolutely crazy the second he knows that I've actually physically got food. Boof. See you later, Hugo. We've got to go certain pets and exotics. So a quick look around. Everything seems good. See that sign there? Northern Exotics with the YouTube sign. Well, that is how we get to certain pets and exotics. Watch. <laughs> That's my reaction to seeing him. <laughs> We'll come back and check on him later and show you guys, but he's actually got to go for a bath um, today. So after his bath, while he's out actually having a bath, we may actually get a chance of handling him. I don't know. We'll see. Have you ever found that when you actually do come into a reptile shop of any sort of kind, you have to say hi to all the animals? Hello, Tigers. 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 Hello, mate. Uh. <laughs> and look at him. Hello, mate. Hello. I've got some stickers, the Northern Exotic stickers. The Reptile Systems Insect Food. A couple behind. There's one in there. You've got the Reptile Systems Vitamin. We've got another one. That'll go in just uh, back there. Come and have a look. Come and get your sticker. You never know. Oh, there's the Calcium Ultra. There's another sticker. You never know. You might get one of those stickers. But let's have a look at the chameleons. Hello, girl. How's it going? Hello. Hello, guys. I'm oh, sorry. Did I spook you there? <laughs> I actually never seen a really active Euromastix until I saw this one. Look at him. Hello, bud. And I like the way I said he was really active and now he's just sort of sat there like, who are you? What are you doing? What do you want with me? I've got the keys. They're trusting me to the keys. Let's check out some tortoises. Hello, cutie. Hello, mate. Fine. He doesn't want to be my friend. Don't walk on your brother. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't walk on him. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I said, don't do it. And what are you looking at as well, big boy? What are you looking at? I kind of want to go and see the fish. They've just got marine fishing, so I want to see them as well. Let's go around there and have a look. Oh, no, 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 there's a Nemo. Nemo, it's Nemo. Oh, little baby Nemos. Ooh, ooh. I've got a question. Can I put fish in with my Savannah Monitor's water dish so that he can have like a bit of enrichment feeding? Oh, no, it's illegal, apparently. Ah, Dory! 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 Now, this is the piece that I don't understand, right? Let me show you these. So, we've got a lionfish just there. Awesome little lionfish, if it'll focus. But you've also got a fox face in there. They're both extremely venomous, but you don't need a DWA license to have them. And look at all those corals. This camera doesn't do it justice how pretty some of them actually are. I mean, I could sit and watch all that sort of just waving around all day long, but this is a reptile channel. Let's go to the reptiles. And if you come in and you don't really want to go rummaging through all the stock to actually find a sticker, Josh, he's got three stickers there and uh, he'll give you one. He's back for his bath. So while he was out for a bath, I had a little play with his enclosure and I tarted it up a little bit. Oh, he looks amazing. <laughs> Let's handle him. Let's show you. This is a Bayak cross sarong green tree python. Just look at all the colours on there and he has just come out of a bath that's why we've got the ability to actually handle them they're not a handleable species so we're going to get him back in his enclosure now amazing is he <laughs> we need a name for him i've got a cracking name already but you'll have to tune in some other time to see that <laughs> just look at all the colors on that oh, 
Wow. Look at him poking his head out the top up there. The colours on that tail are absolutely amazing. Just look at that. Oh. So happy, you guys. So happy. So I'm just going to grab some live food and a rodent for Charlie from me, him, and uh, him. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Peace out.